Hey guys, uh, about to play a match with the Blue Red Thopters deck. Um, waiting on an opponent in the two man queue, and I will be back with you guys when I have an opponent. All right, we have an opponent, and we will play first. And I think this hand's a keep. Um, we have turn one potential wild slash, although I'll probably just play the fumarole tapped so that, well, actually. Yeah, I'll play it tap so I can play Dimensional Infiltrator. Um, the chances aren't super great. My opponent does something on turn one that I want to wild slash anyway, so I will play the Fumarole first. Um, so turn two, Dimensional Infiltrator into Thopier Engineer into PN Karan is pretty strong, um, depending on what our opponent's packing, but we'll play our Fumarole first. Which, this is a pretty good land. I mean, it produces blue and red, and then it survives board sweepers, and it can just, you know, outright kill your opponent when it has to, or it can be a good blocker on the ground when it has to. So, our opponent also blue-red, so that's interesting. So here we can leave mana up for Dimensional Infiltrator, um, and if we decided we wanted to Wild Slash something instead at the end of our opponent's next turn, we can do that too, like Jace, for example. Um... Ooh, and now we have an Anthem effect, which is what we want. So I'll end my turn there. So yeah, Infiltrator. I think I probably play the Engineer next, because if I draw a land for PN Karan, that's a lot of damage going our opponent's way. Let's see if we see a Jace here. Hanger Backwalker. Okay, well, that is Thopters. Um, do we want to kill it now? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just flash in my guy. So we will. Yeah, that, I mean, if this weren't a budget deck, obviously Hanger Backwalker's Walker would be in here too. Um, all right, Ghost Fire Blade too, huh? Well... I think now I'm actually considering going Wild Slash on Hanger Back um, and then just Ghost Fire blading up our Dimensional Infiltrator and making him just deal with that. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to Wild Slash the Hanger Back Walker now um, because then he'd be able to attack me. I'll do it um, in response to him putting a plus one plus one counter on it, I guess. Or I could do it... Um, Maybe I should do it now, just after I attack. I mean, even if he was going to block, I guess it wouldn't be a big deal. But I think killing it before it he sort of gets out of control is probably a good idea. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just going to wild slash it. Gets him a thopter. We don't have any thopters on our side of the field. Something, Something's gone wrong. <laughs> Okay. Ruination Guide. So our opponent seems to have a similar idea to ours. Um, quite similar, uh, which is cool. So far, our decks have a lot of similarities. We don't have Hanger, and we just drew a Ruination Guide, so how about that? Um, I think I'm actually going to play it. Uh, we do need blue mana to do that, though. So makes our dimensional infiltrator into a 5-3, so even more of a problem. And we will swing with it, dropping our opponent down to 12, and I'll end my turn. All right, opponent electing not to race here. Um, is fine and makes sense, I guess. I mean, I would hit him for eight a turn if he, all right, fiery impulse it is. Okay, um, now I think we do play Thopter Engineer. And we swing again with our, uh, actually we'll swing with our Thopter token too. If he wants to trade Thopters, right, he may have a uh, 
burn spell as well. No. Good. All right. Works for me. So now if we ever get a fourth land, we can slam Pia and Karan Nalar. Oh, man. Skyline Cascaded. My Dimensional Infiltrator uh, does make it harder for us to have, like, an ultra-efficient turn this turn. That's for sure. Because I have to move the blade now. Um, I guess if I draw a fourth land, nah, I'd probably still just play P and Karan because it would just represent so much damage for our opponent. We'll take this. Find out if he wants to be ingesting things. Oh, that wild slash would have been nice. All right. Um, yeah, I think we slam Pia and Karan Nalar. Do you have a counter spell? Or do we have a bunch of damage in the air? Looks things look bright. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with all the thopters and the engineer. Um, the more damage we can do, the better. Right, drops her opponent to eight. So next turn, playing Chief of the Foundry should win us the game. Uh, we may win without it, actually. Um, but yeah, our opponent scoops. All right, game one is ours. Um, definitely don't want Seismic Rupture. I think Thopter Spy Network isn't amazing in this matchup, but it's okay, um, especially like if a board stall happens where we both have tons of Thopters or something. Um, Orbs of Warding is obviously pretty good against the deck with Thopters in it. So I don't really like Roast in this matchup. It's kind of overkill, it looks like. But Rending Volley is also not good in it. Um, so I could bring in Vile Aggregate or an, or another or more Thopter Spy Networks. I think I'd rather go with the Aggregate, though. It'll clog up the ground. Um pretty effectively while we attack in the air and it itself can become a pretty big threat. So I think that's what we do. Yeah, we don't have a great sideboard for the mirror. I guess, like I said, orbs of warding would be okay, but, uh, and maybe that's what I should have brought in since, but the vile aggregates seem like they'll be good too. If there's a game three, maybe I'll bring in the orb of orbs of warding and see what happens. All right, this is another keeper. Um, this time we can Thopter Spy Network up. Um, we also we have another turn one, you know, early wild slash on a hanger back walker if that's what we need to do, plus a dimensional infiltrator. So there's another wild slash. So we'll play our mountain. end our turn. So if he plays Hangerback Walker, I think I would Wild Slash it this turn, just like we did last game. Yep. We're going to. I mean, it does make our Dimensional Infiltrator less good, but um, this thing just gets uh, as, it just gets better if, as I, if I let it remain in play. So, All right. So we're going to Wild Slash it. Gives him a Thopter. Another Dimensional Infiltrator. I will end my turn. So I'll flash in an Infiltrator at the end of his turn, most likely, unless he plays another Hanger Backwalker, which would be annoying. Um, we are one land away. Like, we'll have an Artifact if we play a Gear Crafter, and then Thopter Spy Network will start rolling, which seems pretty good. Okay, Chief of the Foundry. I'm going to go ahead and just Wild Slash this Thopter. So I do get kind of two for one there, but I'm also, it's pretty good tempo to keep him from even being able to attack right there. It's also down to three cards now. All right, so I think we play our Gear Crafter and sort of hang back and go with the Thopter Spy Network strategy to overtake our opponent with card advantage. So... That seems pretty good, especially if he doesn't play a flyer right here and we can get in with our Thopter and draw a card next turn, too. All right, Ruination Guide it is. 
He didn't play a flyer, so if he swung with his chief, yeah, I'll just take it. Take it, I will. Okay, yeah, I'm going to play the Spy Network and just start trying to outcard him. I mean, we're going to get a Thopter every turn, theoretically. Um, and this guy can block the Ruination Guide, too, so seems pretty good. All right, Chief of the Foundry of our own. Seems pretty good. Especially if we're having like an endless number of Thopter tokens made on our side of the table. All right, that is overkill, but we're going to take six here. Ouch. Let's see what he ingests. Island. I would not have minded a fifth land. Maybe we'll draw one anyway. We did. Okay, so now I can play my chief and flash in the infiltrator to kill uh, the ruination guide if that's what I decide to do. Um, definitely going to play. Uh, we don't want to tap it like that. We're behind on damage, so we don't really want to be taking a bunch of it. I guess I could play Thopter Engineer instead. No, I'd rather play Chief of the Foundry here. I guess I could have attacked first, but playing the Chief first ensures I get in for two damage. I mean, it makes me get in for one more damage, basically, so seems relevant. Wouldn't mind hitting a Wild Slash when we draw a card here. Wow, all the dimensional infiltrators. Don't mind that. Um, it is a surprise blocker if he just chooses to swing with like Ruination Guide here. See if he plays his own Thopter Spy Network. No, but his own PN Karan Nalar, that's pretty bad. All right. That is a problem. We are at low enough life that it concerns me that those are coming that's coming into play. But our Thopters are bigger. Oh no, they're not. He has Chief of the Foundry too. Well. He may have to stop swinging. Um, but if he swings with his ruination guide here, his are actually bigger even. Because he has the, both of these in play. So, all right. So, I'm still going to flash in a dimensional infiltrator at the end of his turn. There's no reason not to. Especially because we have way more of them. And next turn, we can play like our engineer and an infiltrator. So, ooh, that's, that's pretty mean. Um, once again, I need to do it like this. Play our Thopter Engineer. That'll give the one we just got haste to. So, uh, next turn I'll play the Chief. So that's 2468. That's 10 damage in the air. I'm going to swing with two Thopters here. Would love to draw a wild slash to deal with Pia and Karan Nalar right now. Costs three to use its ability, so he can't quite use it twice, but... Hey, Vile Aggregate, that'll be good right now. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just be a 6-5, you know, it's not that good, but it's pretty good. <laughs> So we can flash in a Dimensional Infiltrator again at the end of his turn, which seems like it would be pretty good. He can't kill any of our Anthem effects with one P and Quran Nalar trigger, so that's good for us. Okay, there is his own Thopter Spy Network. Yeah, this is definitely a mirror. Um, obviously, this deck 
I mean, we the one thing we haven't seen our opponent play is like dimensional infiltrator, but he has hanger backwalker, which is probably a better two drop. Um, but our decks are very similar, and it's cool to play a mirror. Um, clearly, other people are thinking about this deck as well, which may mean it'll increase in price, but hopefully not before this video goes up on my channel. <laughs> so, what are you going to do here? All right. We're going to play another one of these. Thopter Engineer plus uh, Thopter Spy Network is pretty gross. I'm about to make all of mine into three threes. So that's what we'll do, and we'll get, hold on to yet again another. Um, wouldn't have minded Ruination God because it would have pumped our Dimensional Infiltrators too, but they're still big enough to get through for a lot. Um, so this will... By swing with everything, he's going to have to block with his two Thopters, which means he'll only get one next turn. So he'll only have one next turn. So I think we'll probably put him in a hole he can't get out of. Yeah, I have gotten good draws, as my opponent is noting. You're a 3-4 now, huh? Yeah, not really. I don't think it's worth attacking with. I think we just get there in the air. Um... Because that is lethal, so he has to block two things. Might be lethal anyway, 369. No, yeah, it is. How about that? Lethal. Well, that went the, the way you hope. Both times we killed his early hangerback walker, and then we just sort of dominated the skies. So, looks like we'll probably be winning this match. Opponent taking taking his time here. He may be typing to me. Um, yeah, I mean that's well, that's 13 damage actually. So this is definitely like good that they decided to make one these sorts of effects one-sided all the time. Now they didn't used to be a long time ago. It would be like all artifact creatures. <clears throat> so yeah, he is. T we are we are talking shop about our decks now. While my opponent has been defeated, so if you want to, you can stop watching this one. <laughs> I'm waiting till his life goes to zero, but you know I don't think he's tapped out. Has no more blockers, and I have lethal damage in the air. So so I'm just waiting. All right, well, I ended up winning as I thought I would. I did end up pausing the recording because we talked about uh, our decks and sideboards and stuff for quite some time. But anyway, we won the mirror. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.